That's good. Everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Tia Maria's blog. I have another great recipe for you. This recipe is for beef on this. It's Portuguese pork cutlet sandwiches. What I do is I uh, use pork loin and I cut it really thin, maybe a quarter of an inch. Okay, now if you get a really nice lean pork loin, you don't have to pound it, but you can do that. You can uh, pound it with a mallet, tenderize it a little bit, but these are very tender. Just use a nice pork loin or pork tenderloin. So what I do is I slice it again, quarter inch thick. You can go a little thicker if you want. And I'm gonna marinate these with some spices. Okay, in this mix, I have some paprika, I have some salt, some garlic powder, some black pepper. Just do a little bit there. And I'm gonna turn them over. So this probably takes a couple tablespoons for these would be fine. Okay, just turn them over, marinate them on both sides. Now these bifanas are going to grill on my stovetop, but you can also grill these outside on your barbecue. It makes a delicious sandwich. It's a perfect party food too because people just grab the sandwiches and they go. Now this is a classic Festa sandwich too. Bifan is the Festa. It's classic. And what I, so here's another tablespoon of the mix. Now you can find the mix in my cookbook, Taste Portugal Mole, you post these recipes. But all it is is, like I said, a mixture of paprika, garlic, cumin, salt, black pepper, and some peaty peat if you like too. Okay, so I, I marinated them. Okay, so I'm gonna put them into a bowl. Okay. I'm gonna add some wine these and I'm gonna add a little bit of pita pita sauce which is a spicy hot sauce you can use regular hot sauce too you don't have to use a Portuguese pita pita if you can't find it near you that's okay okay so all right so I'm gonna add maybe a, maybe a quarter cup of white wine to these the white wine is gonna get these nice and tender okay. mix it up a little bit you want to mix it pretty thoroughly Smells great already. So now these should marinate, I'd say at least an hour or two in the refrigerator. But if you know, you're in a hurry, you could just, um, you know, half hour is fine too. Of course, the longer it marinates, the more flavorful they get. And these are going to, um, I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator overnight because that's the best way. Okay, but I can smell that wine, I can smell that garlic. And what you can do too is you can put some peaty peaty hot sauce on there if you like it spicy but this is optional okay so i'm gonna cook these a little later okay so the be fun is marinating what i'm doing now is i've sliced about six onions six medium onions maybe a quarter to a half inch slices you don't want them too thin you want to have a little bite in that and um so it's six onions maybe a quarter cup of olive oil as you can see and I'm gonna saute these until they're nice and tender. And I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of color. I'm gonna add paprika, maybe a half a teaspoon. But of course, this is optional too. So I'm gonna go over to the stove and I'm gonna start sauteing these. Okay. All right, so these be fun as I've been marinating overnight and they're pretty much ready to cook. So I've taken them out of the refrigerator and let them sit for about 20 minutes to reach room temperature. All right, so the onions are, are cooking. This is probably going to take probably five to ten minutes. You want to cook them on medium. You're going to get a nice golden color. Okay. Onions are caramelized. As you can see, they're beautiful colors. This is what you want. Not overcooked. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to add a little, about a tablespoon of vinegar. Or you can use wine, too. White wine, when you're there, there. The vinegar and wine brings out the sweetness in onions, so be sure to do this. It's a neat, neat little trick. All right, so now I'm gonna grill the beef on it. Okay, so the onions are done. Look at that beautiful caramelization. They're gonna be so sweet, so delicious on those beef on us. So the beef on us are ready to cook. What I did is I put about a quarter cup of olive oil in here. Make sure it's nice and hot smoking. So here we go. Some people fry beef on us. But I don't like to fry them because they come out a little greasy. I like to grill them 
and a little olive oil. You get your nice grill marks. And they come out better. But this is optional. If you want to fry them in your skillet with some olive oil, that's up to you. Now, as I mentioned, you can cook these out on the grill. And it's the same process. Just grease the grill slightly with some cooking spray. Put on those bifanas. And they're going to cook maybe three to four minutes on each side. I'm going to cook them in batches too because if you fry them too much, they steam rather than grill. Okay, so let's start. All right, so it's been about three minutes. I'm going to flip them over. Look at that beautiful color and those nice grill marks. Those nice little grill marks, they're beautiful golden color. I'm going to put them onto a plate and I'm going to cook the other batch. Now, as I said, these cooking batches, if you find that the stove gets too hot, just lower the heat and you can add a little more olive oil too. Alright. Alright, so I've cooked both batches of these onions and I've put them both back into this pan. They're cooked and I'm going to add the onions right on top. Oh, it smells wonderful in here. So you just lay those right on top. And I'm, I'm going to turn the oven off. And uh, these are going to sit for maybe like, three to five minutes. So I'm going to slice up that bread. I'm going to make some delicious beef on this. Now what you can do, if you want to make these ahead of time, let them cool down. Put them in the refrigerator and then you can uh, make these refunds for your next party or uh, serve them later tonight. So this is a good, easy recipe that you can prep ahead of time. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to make these refunds. What I did, I sliced the bread. Get a couple of slices. How beautiful this looks. Oh my, my goodness, they're so good. Put as many onions as you want. The more the better, look at that. Now what I've done is I've put some in parchment paper already. So when you have a party, you just wrap them up in parchment or foil and people can take these to go. Look at that. What a delicious sandwich. Perfect. They stay warm. You can also put them in foil in the oven. That makes it great too. Bifanas, look at that delicious savory bite. Enjoy. Oh, I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm, that is delicious.